you're actually in the new 30 for 30 documentary on Dennis Rodman. Yeah. And I watched, there's like a little preview of it, and you said that you thought that Dennis was going to shoot himself. Is that right? Mm -hmm. What was that whole situation around? I love you, blood. <laughs> okay. So we're rookies. Dennis meets Annie in Sacramento. They have a very, um, she has a baby with Dennis. Um, that becomes Dennis's wife. Annie was not happy in Detroit. And wasn't happy at a lot of things, but she wasn't happy in Detroit. And I remember one time she told me, yeah, I drove the truck, or she puts it in, his, in her book, um, she drove the truck to the airport uh, while, while we're playing and says, uh, this is Dennis Rodman's truck. Throws the keys to the guy. Guy's like, we're, we're Bellman. You have a truck if you want. It's Dennis Rodman's. And she bounces. She gave away his truck. Like, just, you know, gets it back. But that that's the kind of relationship that was happening back and forth. Mm -hmm. Then um, she comes in town to stay with our friend. But instead, they stay at uh, some other place. And Dennis finds out that she's in town. She's staying at this other place. And he's like, I can't believe she's there. Uh, but she's with our friend. Right? They're thinking she's doing something different. And Dennis comes to the arena, but he always had, you know, he has a dually. He's in Texas. Of course you need a dually in Detroit. Smartest car to have, though, with the snow they had. And he has a gun rack in the back, and he has his rifle in, because he's a country boy, and that's what they do. And he's sitting there, and the, I think it's Matt pulls up or Mike Abnow pulls up first. Somebody pulls up and sees, you know, D-Rod, what are you doing here? And he's sitting there in the car, and he's obviously somewhere else. And Mike says, I think it's Mike Abner. I got to get him in. State, you got to bring him in to the, into the spot. But his gun wasn't in his gun rack. So when that was told to me that his gun wasn't in the gun rack, it was next to him, um, the, I believed he had the capability of ending his life right then. Because in that moment, his life was ended. Because Annie met, yeah, Annie met that much. Okay, over Annie Baker. Yeah. Uh, Bakes, I mean. Sorry. So he was so in love with her that he was ready to yeah, kill himself. Was, that was it. Man, I, I, was there, I was there when he met her. And <laughs> I went back and got him in the room because he was late to the bus the next morning in Sacramento. He was, he was, he was love struck, man. It was like moonstruck. I, I wanted to slap him. Like she had slapped uh, Nicolas Cage, snap out of it. <laughs> but he was love struck. 